Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Well, today I'm going to do a unboxing and overview here of this brand new GPS drone by LYZRC. It's kind of hard to see here, as you can tell. I it's a bit <laughs> the box is a little smushed on one side, but thankfully nothing's damaged inside because of the foam packing, which I'll show you in just a second. But this is called the Metavish Three. I'll turn it around here so you can get out of the glare. The Metavish 3 looks, of course, like a DJI Mavic 2. That's what they're going for with this large looking camera, you know, that's supposed to look like the DJI Mavic 2's uh, camera on this. You know, it, has, it claims it has a 50 times uh, zoom, which I'm sure is just going to be a digital zoom in the app. But some of the features that they advertise here, besides being foldable, of course, and GPS return to home point of interest, which means it'll do a circle mode around something. Waypoint flights, that's nice. Intelligent IPP following, which I believe this is, as it says, it has, it has app follow me and GPS follow me. What that means is it's like active or dynamic tracking that, you know, um, DJI and Alto have. You can draw a box around an object and have it follow on them. That's what I assume it's supposed to do. Um, it's not that uncommon now. I, 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 one of my Snaptain toy drones had uh, that feature. So it's, you know, it's becoming more common now. 25 minute flight time. Of course, they are talking about the follow me mode here, which would be just GPS follow me. A gesture mode for photos and, and for video. So let's go ahead and let's open the box here and I can see how it's packaged. Now it comes with uh, two bags here. You can put the drone in and I, you know, your controller. So that's pretty cool. Let's take this foam insert and then there is the drone itself. So here's the ba an extra battery. There's already a battery in the drone, your controller and a box with parts and instructions. We'll open all that up and take a look at it. So let's take a look at the drone first. It does also have optical flow here. Here's your power button that's built in on the battery. You can just tap it. And it's, I believe it's saying this battery is already fully charged. And uh, let's go ahead and open up the arms here. So you go ahead and open up the, uh, the back arms first. Turn around here and do that again. This is brushless, of course, so that's always a huge plus. So it'll have good power. So here's your brushless motors and of course your fold-out props just like DJI uses. So it's fairly lightweight. It's gonna be above the 250 grams, of course. I haven't weighed it yet, but it's not really, really heavy. And here is that you know camera. And as you can hear, it's servo controlled, so you can tilt it up and down, which is nice. It looks like it's only going to go about that far. The camera actually butts into the body of the drone. So Now, they advertise 4K and stuff, but according to the specs, um, it does 1080p at 25 frames per second. So that's what I get off the Banggood site on the specs, but it, you know, like I said, they advertise it at 4K, which I think is probably going to just be 4K photos is what it's capable of. Now, they also mentioned that it has self-stabilization on the camera. You know, I mean, this is servo driven. Um, even if it were able to try to adjust, it could only go up and down. It doesn't have any three axis or two axis stabilization. It's just one axis. So I don't believe this is going to do anything more than let you tilt it. But we will see when I get to the test flight. And if it had any kind of stabilization, it might be some sort of app-based image uh, electronic stabilization. Because unfortunately, there's no SD card slot on this. So all your footage is being saved in the app on your phone. So hopefully the Wi-Fi works pretty good that way. Um, you know, you won't have any, a bunch of drop frames. I, I don't, I'm not a fan, of course, of app only saving uh, video, but you know, maybe there is some sort of stabilization because they really rave in their promotion stuff on the camera and the stabilization. And you know, I, I'm very, of course highly skeptical. I'm very worried this will be a jello fest with this kind of camera and wobble, but we'll see. You know, maybe it'll do, do well because there is no dampening in here. And but you really want dampening to take any vibes because it's very difficult to get vibes removed. Even if these are really well balanced propellers, which on you know, these toys, that's almost never the case. So we will have to see on that. So let's set the drone off to the side then and we'll go take a look at some of the other stuff here. 
here is the battery. Like I said, there's already one in the drone. This this battery is a 3S battery, so it's a good power battery, you know, a good um, voltage. 11.1 volt 3S, and it's 1600 milliamp on this. And they advertise this, I believe it was 25 minute flight time, it said there. So um, that's a pretty good flight time if it gets anything near that. So let's go take a, look, take a look at the box here, and then we'll look at the controller. The box is, um, inside the box there is the charging cable for the drone in here and your extra propellers and you know, here's the balance plug that plugs into the back of the battery. As you can see right up here is the balance plug. So it's going to be a very slow charge. Um, but since this drone's a little smaller, 1600 milliamps isn't as big as some of these batteries have been seeing on some of these newer drones. They take four or five hours to charge. This one I would think would be more closer to the two to three hours uh, with this capacity. So there's your spare parts. Of course, it wouldn't be a toy drone without a little Phillips screwdriver. And then you've got your instruction manuals and it's awfully small. So, you know, might need a, you know, a, a magnifying glass if your eyes aren't very good to read this. It's not too bad though. It's, it seems to be fairly well written. And then this is a separate manual just for their app which we'll go over here in just a minute and this looks really really good this instruction manual is actually quite good for an app i've maybe the best one i've seen really well written and in color and really uh just nicely written and the controller and the controller is actually i, I kind of like it it is awfully lightweight so you know it's not super oh durably built or well built i guess you could say but you do have and you do have this drawer that comes out like the toy drones have and you stick your phone in the bottom and a lot of people aren't a fan of that the biggest problem with that is it ends up pressing buttons if you have buttons on the side of your phone it ends up turning the phone off or whatever so you have to be careful with that but you know it's it's okay it just feels it, it feels like the toy drones in this class it's not it's just rather it's rather cheap feeling but it's not terrible these antennas are fake so you don't need to worry about folding them out. And the buttons on here, you got your speed rates, which I don't know yet if there's two or three. It's obviously going to be at least two. This is your GPS return to home. And yeah, the buttons are kind of, uh, you know, the, you know, like I said, this, it's a rather cheap feeling controller, but it's not the worst one I've seen. This is for, it says switching between photo and video. So I don't know. That's probably going to be actually your photo video recording it's probably going to be a short press for video uh, excuse me photo long press video that's what i'm guessing haven't looked in instruction manual to confirm that and with these ones that use apps only you know sometimes these don't even work you have to use the app to start recording i don't know if there was a case would be on this one we'll confirm that when we get out and do the actual uh, flight of this drone this is your gps which i'm sure is turning gps on and off if you want to go to altitude hold mode they also advertise it you know indoors it'll detect whether to use optical or gps i, I mean it's just going to not get a gps lock indoors so it'll stick with optical flow is all that means this is for your angle up and down so this is just to tilt that motorized uh, camera so you can tilt it up and then down to about 45 degrees this is your auto takeoff and auto landing. And then I don't know yet if you need to start the props ahead of time or not. Some start them up when you press it. Some you need to start them up, then press it. And this looks like this would be your headless mode. And of course, this is your power button here. And it does have an LCD screen, which is nice. You know, the toy ones like this typically don't have a screen built in on them at all. But And uh, this does not have, is not rechargeable. You do have to put batteries in it. Some of these GPS drones like this, you know, like the FQ777 I recently reviewed. A lot of them are coming with rechargeable controllers, which is nice, but this one does just take some double or triple A batteries. I haven't opened it up to see which kind that it does take. Let's just quickly look at the specs here again on Banggood. I'm going to just kind of glance to make sure I didn't forget anything, and then we will go and um, look at the app here, and then that'll end this. So. Just glancing over the app here, the transmission distance that is advertised is one kilometer control distance, but the Wi-Fi has a max of 800 meters. I think it said six to 800 actually. So that's you know that's not too bad if we can get that. I'm not you know always iffy on there you can really get that kind of Wi-Fi transmission distance. Of course, they mentioned the GPS and the image follow me. 
So that re um, ensures me that this probably does have some sort of dynamic tracking. Um, it has GPS and GLONASS, so it has the Russian satellites too. So it ought to get a good GPS lock and should hold position good. Now it says here photo and video resolutions 1920 by 1080. Um, we'll have to see, you know, I, I believe that's going to be the video, but who knows on the photos. Banggood says it's just 1080p resolution, like a screenshot of the video, which it probably is. But maybe the app upscales it to 4K, you know, using interpolation. And, you know, that's a common trick that they do. And it's uh, 25 frames per second, like I said in the video, which is, you know, it's okay. It's not terrible. Uh, 338 grams is what it advertises that. So, like I said, it's not real heavy, but it is unfortunately, you know, in that, you know, what is that, 70, is that 80... 88 grams over the 250 gram limit, but not really heavy. But then it mentions no TF card, so. And then again, that 50 times zoom, which I'm sure is gonna be a, a digital zoom in the app, and that's just going to uh, allow you to zoom in on something. I don't know if you can you know, save that zoom as a photo. I'm not really sure, or if it'll save, it may save it as a zoom in the video too. Like my Alto Evo, you can zoom in digitally and it will actually save that because you're you know that video you're telling it <clears throat> excuse me you're you're zooming in like that you could actually you know save that uh, zoomed in video i believe i don't use that zoom very much so i may be misspeaking on the evo but i'm pretty sure you can save that when you zoom in but i'm not 100 <laughs> percent now i'm confusing myself and that's pretty much it on that so yeah that's that's pretty much all there is on this drone you know they list here on the screen here some of the the features i was looking at here including that zoom and uh, electronic camera app follow me over here so that's fixed flight would be the waypoints long battery life so you know typical stuff they're going to uh you know try to uh use as selling points on this the app that you're going to use, let me turn my screen brightness up so you guys can see that better. I'm sure that was not very easy to see. Is the LYZ, and that's of course the name brand. Let me move it over here so I don't have it out of the field of view. LYZ RC GPS. And it actually is a pretty decent app when you start it up there. You can select which drone you have. And this is, I believe this is the LT-108. There's two different ones. They check mark there. I have to go look closely. Let's see if I click a different one. Yeah, it changes around. I'll have to, let's go see if I can figure out. This one had a check mark on the, the box on which one this one was. If I can find it here in the box. This is the LT, excuse me, L109S. So let's see if I can find that one at L109. Here's a 109. And then here's the GPS Pro. So I don't know if that, no, that's definitely not it. That's actually pretty cool looking. I've not seen that. It looks kind of like the Beast drone. So it's going to be the L, the 109. So that's the one we want right there. The L109 GPS. You just go into controls and then here's your, your follow me. We'll have to see how that works between distinguishing the dynamic tracking and the GPS. There could be another spot for that in here. I'll have to familiarize myself with the app. There's your point of interest up here, your satellite number, photo video over here, return to home here. See, I'm not sure how you do the dynamic or the GPS tracking. And it may be something simple or it could be, you know, who knows with this stuff. You know, sometimes they say they have a feature and it doesn't actually do it. All right, guys, that should wrap up the unboxing and overview here of the LYZ, was it RC Metavish 3 L109S, the actual model number, which I didn't mention earlier until now for this GPS photo drone. So I'll be back as soon as the weather cooperates to do a flight review because this is, uh, the weather is just non-stop rain and then it's going to get cold and next week could even be an arctic outbreak so i don't know when i'm going to get this in the air is what i'm getting at so maybe early next week it's supposed to be nice before it gets cold so i'm hoping maybe that's when i can get this in the air and do a flight review but in the time being a lot of you responded to my community posts saying you really wanted to see about this you'd seen it 
So I wanted to at least try to get an unboxing and overview here so you can at least see what it looks like. Even though I don't have the, obviously any flight review today. So I'll be back with that. In the meantime, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Like this video. I'd really appreciate it if you like it. Be sure to, if you have any questions, just ask. And I'll try to answer it the best I can without having flown it yet. Be sure to uh, click the bell so you know I upload new videos. And of course, subscribe, guys. And uh, have a wonderful day. The power of the dark side, 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 side.